Hey there YouTube, California Prepper, back with another knife review for you guys today. Well, today we will be looking at another clone. I haven't really talked about these much since I got them, this one's a little dirty. My wife really seems to love this little knife. It is a clone, get the light right, zero tolerance knife, turn the lamp a little bit. Pretty sweet little knives. Um, they are quite a bit smaller than um, any ZT I've ever seen. Uh, really reminds me of a cross between um, the 560 and the 200, considering it's not a frame lock. Has more of a 560 pattern, but it's not a frame lock, and it's nowhere near the size of the uh, 560 but it just seems to be a smaller uh, wannabe look-alike it's a liner lock so that's why it reminds me a little bit of the 0200 and it sort of has the same semi pattern more more towards the 560 if you ask me um, but for the price you know these are I mean don't get me wrong these are nowhere near uh, zero tolerance quality nothing even compared to these ZTs uh, just because they have that little ZT stamp there doesn't mean anything these things are nowhere even in the same ballpark uh, but they do look pretty cool uh, they're a manual little knife this one flicks out uh, a little bit better than mine this one here is my wife she loves this little knife um, what's cool about it is it does have dual thumb studs and since mine doesn't deploy as well as hers I like to just use the thumb studs and it just flicks right out no problem uh, great great little knife let's see if I have some paper anywhere in arm's reach uh, of course uh, let's see here we go I mean these things are sharp man I hate blind paper they're pretty sharp they're decent um, the steel that they are they say they claim anyways is a uh, 5CR13 MOV. I don't know why you would lie about that. I don't know how great that steel is or not. I'll have to check on my phone app. If you guys haven't checked out that uh, phone app that Cutlery Lover suggested, it's pretty cool. It, you know, tells you all the different steels, the components, and uh, what they're comparable to and whatnot. Pretty cool app for your smartphone. But um, these are some pretty cool little knives. They do have a uh, tip up, tip down, pocket clip. Um, not right and left hand carriage, sorry guys, but I mean for the price point, I think I got these for 12 bucks each. Like I said, I was expecting them to be a little bit bigger, so uh, when I pulled them out, I was like, what's this? But hey, for 12 bucks, you can't beat that. They're pretty nice little knives, you know, they're fun to play with. They're about the same size as the Skyline. Let's see, pull out a Skyline and compare it for you guys. There's a Skyline side-by-side -side comparison Skyline's actually a little bit bigger really similar actually both have flippers and the dual thumb studs nice little knives but they are stamped with ZT and they are not a ZT so that kinda sucks I really wish they didn't have that ZT stamp on there because it would make them a lot cooler in my book but I, you know, it is what it is. So, just wanted to do a quick little semi-review of these. Let me give you guys the stats while we're here, shall we? Um, let's see. Blade length is 2.95 inches, so just under 3 inches. Handle is made out of glass-filled nylon, or that's what the claim is anyways. Like I said, the blade is, the claim is 5CR13 MOV. Dang, that blade is dirty. These little $12 clones, I don't really worry about getting gunk on the blade as much as I do. You know, my 560, that's my baby. So, uh, what else do we have? Let's check the weight on these. I believe they're 3.3 ounces. Yep, 3.3 ounces. 6.6 .6 ounces. So yeah, 3.3 ounces each. Nice little knife. 
uses a beater knife, you know, keeping your side pocket so you don't have to use your nice knife when it comes down to, you know, something rough, something you don't want to damage your blade on. Because believe it or not, when you pull out your blade and you go to use it for something, you just kick yourself in the ass when you end up, you know, chipping the blade or, you know, something. It, it, it's just not worth it. Carry a beater with you. Way better idea. A lot cheaper. <laughs> so, like I was saying, overall, uh, you have uh, seven inches overall from tip uh, to the end of the handle. Just, I mean, not the best knife out there, but it's a decent knife. Like I said, lockup isn't too bad on this one. Let's see on that one. Yeah, see, this one doesn't flip out nearly as good. Lockup's decent on them both. Nothing to write home about. But for under 25 bucks for these two little knives, hey, I'm happy. So that's it, guys. This is a review of these little ZT wannabes. Isn't that embarrassing? Look how small that thing is. Pretty cool though, because like I said in my last video, uh, I'm starting to like these small knives a lot more than I than I ever thought I would. So that's gonna do it, guys. California Prepper, thanks for watching. I'm out of here.